Hello, Gateway students. This is Mrs. O, and we're going to set up a sample program for the robot dragster. You want to open Robot C for VEX Robotics. This is the one you want. Be careful because you may also see Graphical Robot C, but we want Robot C for VEX Robotics. So you will open that, give that a minute, okay and it will open to their start page. Okay, you can close the start page. We're going to start by checking robot. Make sure we are in platform type VEX 2.0 Cortex Natural Language PLTW. Also make sure that you are in USB only for the VEX communication mode. Okay, if you have all of that, you're going to go to File, Open Sample Program. Now you will find PLTW. Open, and you'll see the template. Open, okay, and you'll get to the screen. Now we're going to rename it. Okay, you're going to give it your name plus the word dragster. So I'm going to do a file. Save as, give it your name, and then the word dragster. Okay, and you're going to hit save. Okay, would you like to save in the My Documents folder? Yes. Save. Okay, now First, you're going to notice that there is a space for the pseudocode. The pseudocode is very straightforward. You just type that directly. Okay, I'm not going to type it all because you will, you're going to have that um, on a paper version. And you can just copy that. Okay, put the names of the people on your team date and so on okay N next you're going to get to the tasks first task is we're going to set up the motor and sensors so click motor and sensor setup okay we're going to go to motors assuming you are going to build two motors you have to tell the cortex that you have two motors motor one and we use three, VEX 393 motors and then port 10 we will have motor two again it is a VEX 393 motor hit apply OK Next, go back to motor and sensor setup because you are going to have a digital sensor. In digital one, you are going to put the bump switch. Okay, and it is a touch sense. Be sure to type it just the way I have. Hit apply. Okay. Now your code shows that you have a sensor in digital 1, you have a motor in port 1, and a motor in port 10. Okay, we're going to set up the code. Okay, here is where you're going to type. Underneath where it says task main, and there are two parentheses, and then there is a bracket. The first thing you're going to need to do is to type in a while loop type while parentheses 1 equals equals 1 parentheses okay now you're going to put in another bracket just like the one here okay and then you're going to go ahead and start your code do not worry about how much white space you have or how many lines of code type it so that you can understand it Okay, the first thing we're going to tell the program is that until it's bumped, 
Okay, we're not going to start. So if we look for until, okay, until bump. Okay, now this says until bump, and there's a sensor port. Okay, and until bump, and the bump switch is in digital one. I'm going to copy, hit Control C to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. Okay, so now it says until bump, digital one, and then delay time in milliseconds. Okay, we're just going to put one there. Okay, we've got our first line of code. All right, now what happens until bump? Until bump, we're going to start the motor. So you're going to go to robot motion, robot movement, okay, go to movement, and find start motor. Okay, we're going to drag that. Okay, start motor. Now here it says motor port. It wants to know where the motor is. So you come up here. It's the motor in port 1. Control C will allow me to copy it. Okay. Control V allows me to paste it. Now I've got two commas here, so I'm going to delete one. Now I have to give it a speed. We're just starting. Okay, we're going to experiment with speed. So let's start around speed 100 just to start with. We can increase the speed later. The maximum speed is 127. Okay, so we're going to start the motor in port 1. Now suppose you have two motors you want to start. Okay, then we're going to start the next motor. Okay, and this time it'll be the motor in port 10. Control C will allow me to copy it. Control V will allow me to paste it. Okay, I only need one comma, and I'm going to give it the same speed, 100. Okay, next we're going to give it a certain amount of time to run. When we start, we don't know the amount of time. We just have to pick a time to start with. So we're going to wait. Let's give it a time of about five seconds. To see how far it gets. Notice every line ends with a semicolon. Okay, now I'm going to continue to find the commands that I need and add them to the lines of code. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here so that you can continue to do that as well.